Hello everyone, my name is Kevin and welcome to my very first YouTube channel and my very first episode of something I'm calling Classic Car Chit Chat. So what's this all about? Well, if you felt that this was a channel where you can learn all about how to fix your car, I'm sorry to disappoint you. This is not what this is about. This is just me having a little bit of fun, <clears throat> enjoying the ride, driving along in my beautiful 1973 MGB Roadster. I love this car and I try and take her out whenever I get a chance, especially when the weather is nice like this. So please come along with me for a ride. Pretend you're in the passenger seat. We're gonna drive around. We're gonna listen to some classic tunes, mostly the Eagles. I think you'll get a sense of that very soon. But enjoy the ride with me. And as the episodes progress, you'll learn a little bit more about me, about the car. We'll do a little bit of chit chat, mostly about nothing important, kind of like Seinfeld. And I hope you'll enjoy coming for a ride with me in this beautiful car. Okay, so this is my 1973 MGB. As you can tell from the front license plate, I like to tell the world all about my car. I get the question all the time, what is this car? And I just want to make it really clear. It's a 1973 MGB. It's actually the MGB Roadster. Um, it's a Canadian car. It's been in Canada all its life. And I love this car to bits. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit of a walk around as to the car. So everything in this car is somewhat original. These are the original road style wheels. The little England logo, I put that in. This is a view of the cockpit. This is a steering wheel. It's not the original, but it's gorgeous. And my son bought that for me for my birthday. And you can kind of get a sense as to, to what's inside the car. This is the original vinyl seats. You'll see the, the England logos everywhere or British uh, logos everywhere else. These are speakers because you gotta have speakers. And I'm a big believer in that there is never enough chrome in a car. So this is the back end of the car. This is the luggage rack and yeah, when times are good, we'll go for a picnic even. So these are some of the little stickers. I'm a big Leicester City fan. There you go, go Leicester, go Foxes. And we'll keep going. This is the other side of the car. Kind of looks like the other one. Again, let's have a look at the passenger seat. A little bit messy, I haven't cleaned this car. I will be doing that and I'll show you what I do to keep it clean. Again, big soccer fan, go England. These are some of the logos or some of the, uh, the decals, if you will. So this is uh, a lot of the previous ones that were there. Again, Leicester City, Leicester Tigers, of course. A sign to remind everybody, please look at the car, but don't touch it. Proud member of the Toronto Car Spotters. Well, my son's uh, one of the founding members, so he's still part of it. So I'd like to show it off proudly. Here's the front of the car. These are additional headlamps that I put in. Um, these are not original uh, MG lamps. These big sh shiny chrome things are speakers. Because you gotta have chrome on the car, don't you think? The little spokes here are not from the 1973 MGB. I put those on, they belong to an American car, I believe. Everything about this car is somewhat original. The color is not the original color. I'm gonna open up the bonnet so you can have a look what's inside. Bear with me. Again, excuse my mess. It's normally not this tidy, so you gonna release that. Hold on. I don't know how these YouTubers make it look so seamless. I can't do it. But there you go. This is the engine. It is a one point liter. I do not have any overdrive in this thing, but I do got to show you something. This color here, this sort of canary yellow, that was the original color of the car. It was repainted in this red color about 23 years ago. So this paint's been around for a while and it was painted by, um, I believe it was a preacher who used to own the car in Pickering, Ontario. So it was painted a long, long time ago. It's actually a color, from what I understand, from a 1973 vintage uh, Chevy Corvette. 
and I think the red suits the car far better. I'm going to show you the luggage space as well while we're at it. You're all going to wonder, oh, there's the battery, here's the cover, it goes something like this. Now, obviously, I don't have front license plate, but this is the late plate that should go in the front. This is the luggage space. I don't have the spare tire in here because, God help me, if the tire ever went, I'd never be able to change it by myself anymore. Anyway. And here she is. Okay. My neighbor made this little bracket for me because the seat belts kept getting wound up. Uh, my neighbor also is a machinist. Marcello, thank you so much. He made this little bracket for the rear view um, mirror just so I can put it in the right place. The original mounting was way up there which was so hard for me to see you behind in any way shape or form and this is the car so